Sun's out, SPF's out. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Rebecca. And uh, I come in, I'm coming to you with another vintage inspired hairdo. No, I don't know, look. I have a short layered bop and <clears throat> when you put hot rollers in it, this is what you get. So there is a, a bit of, a part of me wants to just like comb the curls into some serious Doris Day or um, like Jackie Onassis, but it's going to relax. I have, I still have to walk the dog. It's kind of humid today. So <laughs> it's just going to change and I'll probably put on a hat for sun protection, because that is what we're talking about today. <laughs> I wanted to rank for you my top five mineral tinted SPF for the face. And yeah, I just, I think there's a lot of creators are doing this. It's a great idea. Some of you are committed to mineral only sunscreen. You want to know if there's any ones, any of them out there with tint. I don't know. I just think for me, it's what I'm drawn to. I love a tinted mineral sunscreen. I will share with you my favorite at the end, uh, but I like them all. That's, I'm going to say that disclaimer, I like them all. I wear them all, they're in my collection, so I rotate them as to not waste them. I love SPF and I love these. Also, I just wanna be clear and that anything out there that is a chemical sunscreen is um, not going to cause you cancer more than the actual sun, UVA, UVB rays are carcinogenic, whether you get them from the sun, whether you get them from a machine in a comic book, um, you know, for, for superpowers, a sunbed, the sun, um, a lamp, I don't know, you know, just any kind of UV rays cause cancer and whether or not you get them from the sun. Um, and there's a lot of things that go into that. And it's not like we are lab rats and they're just, sticking on a product that's a cancer, a carcinogen, and they're wiping it on our skin, strip, whatever. Anyway, okay, my point being, I am a firm believer in sunscreen. Skin cancer kills, okay? I mean, not trying to be dramatic, but I don't know how else to say it. Skin cancer is deadly. Not only that, it can be disfiguring. If you get skin cancer on your face and they have to remove the mole and then the surrounding tissue until they get a profile that is cancer free from the pathologist, they will take away as much skin as they need to, regardless, whether it's your eyelid, whether it's your lip, I mean, honestly, I'm kind of terrified of it. And um, I, don't, I don't want to, I don't want to um, experience something like that. I know people that have. I have friends from a grade school, high school that did tanning beds and uh, when they were teenagers in the late 80s. And they now have scars on their forehead from where the surgeon had to graft away their face from the skin cancer. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not a joke. Um, anyway, so, sorry, didn't want to get heavy there, but I just, I, I, there is so much misinformation. Um, and it's, it's a shame because both dermatologists, the American Cancer Society, the, the, the world, I mean, there's, there's world organizations as well as our, uh, in our nation, um, as well as, you know, there's, there's scientists everywhere that have determined what is on the board, what we need to do as a, as a defense and having a blogger or podcaster say that if you want to get that your healthiest, 
you know, you want to be so healthy, go out there with just spreading coconut oil on your skin and make sure to like eat carrots later and don't worry about sunscreen because sunscreen causes cancer and we need vitamin D and that is unfortunate. Anyway, so I just, I, I don't want to be controversial. I don't want to have to field discussions. I am a layman over here. I'm not an expert. I am not a board certified dermatologist, but I put my faith in those people that have the peer review, the certification and the training um, more than me, more than my neighbor, more than the, the mom in CrossFit who um, just is, yeah. Okay, I like to make it saucy. You know that. All right, but not too saucy because then I get then I get spicy armpits and I get all, I don't like, I'm, I'm like, I'm such a strong-willed person. Yeah. And then I freak out and go have like diarrhea in the bathroom because my stomach gets all jumbled up because I hate confrontation. So, you know, anyway, okay. <laughs> I'm going to start with the one I don't consider the best value or the one I just... I just don't reach for this as often, but there are so many good things to talk about this and I know people love it. So the Neutrogena, the mineral UV tint, this is SPF 30. This is um, a sunscreen that is comes in four different shades. So it's $16.99 on the Neutrogena website. It's like $19.99 on Amazon. Um, the price varies so much depending on where you buy it. You get 1.1 ounce. So this would be great for travel. Um, and I have shade medium and I do have a B roll for you. I don't know if the shade range is comprehensive enough. It doesn't necessarily have to be for something that's just tinted and kind of just trying to cut the white of a mineral sunscreen. And I don't think anyone's going to wear this as foundation. Personally, I don't think it has very much coverage. I think it just kind of blends away to nothing. And I think maybe that's why it's not my favorite, but it also has a lot of good things going for it. I mean, it's fragrance free. It's widely available and it's portable and, you know, it's affordable. And I do feel like it leaves a lot of moisture. I think someone was saying it felt dry. I can't, oh no, they were saying it doesn't set. Well, I actually feel like none of these set on the skin. I feel like my skin stays dewy for 30 minutes or more after applying these sunscreens. And that's okay for me. I just pile on whatever primer foundation combination I'm going to put on anyway. Um, I have dry skin, so having just like this dewy skin that just oozes luminosity is totally fine with me. All right, so that's the Neutrogena. The next one, this is, you know, it's so exciting because it's very similar to a product that's out there right now that costs like twice the money, which I think it's like the Kosas Sun Shield that's got the glow in it, which actually does have fragrance and uh, linalool and cinnamol, I think. Anyway, those are two ingredients that I don't use because they are triggers for my rosacea. But the Hero Force Shield in the Glow, this called Super Beam Sunscreen SPF 30, and it is also 100% mineral. It is broad spectrum SPF 30, and it has a diffusing pearl and apricot pigment to give you a subtle glow. Honestly, I just don't see it. There is nothing that leaves much beyond on the skin after you apply it. It's very nice though. It would work great as a primer. Um, as a makeup, as an SPF slash primer, it is awesome. I don't think of it as a tinted sunscreen. I think of it as a sunscreen that is more illuminating and maybe, maybe no one else has categorized this as tinted. Maybe I just kind of did that on my own and it shouldn't be in this group, but because it's new and everybody is talking about it, 
I think it's great. I think it has so many good ingredients in it. It's fragrance free and it is about $19 I think at Target. You get 1.6 ounces, almost 1.7. So it is a very affordable, very you know, easy to bring along. I think what's nice about some of these products that have more just glow to them is that you can just use them if you want to put some on your chest, neck area to get the sun protection, but also have a little bit of a, look at that, ooh, a little sexy sheen. We got some sheen action going. So it's beautiful, I love it, but it's just for me, it's not one of my daily, you know, everyday sunscreens that that I love. All right, so now we've got the CeraVe SPF 30. This is a really thick, <laughs> thick sunscreen. I love it because it just has so much, um, like, I just, I like a thick sunscreen. I really do. I mean, I do like the thin and runny ones too, but I like the thick ones. Uh, okay, so this has UVA, UVB protection. It is 1.7 ounces, so many of them are. I feel like the Neutrogena is the smallest, and then I'm coming to one that's actually got more in it, but yeah, 1.7 is kind of the average. So CeraVe, we love CeraVe. Um, this one also has niacinamide. It's got hyaluronic acid. It's very, very moisturizing. It's a little thick. Uh, it comes in just the one shade, and um, I really like it. Um, excuse me, I keep burping. <clears throat> it, um, I like CeraVe products for my sensitive skin. Um, I think it is such a good accessible product. You know, the Eucerin, this next one is very new. I've already reviewed it. I really like it. Um, this has um, sensitive mineral sunscreen. It's SPF 35. And it is, gosh, you know, this is another one that varies in price. You can find it at Walmart for, oh, let's see here, 13, just around $14. You can also find it, I think, on Amazon. I got mine at Target. I think it was $12.99. I really like this. It is thick. It is moisturizing. It's got a good tint for my skin. Again, not really coverage, just a tint to offset the white. Um, and it is zinc is what um, it is, the mineral versus a combination of, there's some that are zinc, some that are both zinc and titanium dioxide. <laughs> and if someone tells me one more time or comments or there's a podcaster that your skin being its largest organ is like a sponge. No, it's not. Your skin is not a sponge, okay? Neither is your kidney, neither is your brain, neither is your spleen. None of your organs are sponges. They are factory systems of sophisticated mechanisms that understand how to filter and function and what they're supposed to do. If your skin was a sponge, we wouldn't be able to take a shower. Okay, your skin is your, your protection, it's your armor, it's your shield, it's not a sponge. If anything, it's your Teflon. Ooh, nobody likes Teflon anymore. <laughs> Don't worry, your skin is not a sponge. If anyone tells you your skin is a sponge, they are not correct. They are, they might be fear-mongering, I don't know. Um, yeah, is your skin a delivery system? Sure, because we put things transdermally, absolutely. But there's also dose, there's exposure, there's, there's so many things that come into consideration. So just please, please, just, just understand where I'm coming from here. Okay, and not to sound like a broken record, but my favorite sunscreen, tinted mineral, whether it's mineral, whether it's physical, whether it's tinted, whether it's clear, Basically, just on my face, my favorite, favorite sunscreen to use is the Dermatology. This is the Physical Tinted Moisturizer SPF 44. So of all the ones I've shown today, this is the highest SPF. 
um, which just means you can have a few more minutes out in the sun before, you know, uh, you should take shelter. This has just a smidgen over two ounces. It's right around $24. I have a discount code. They also have a bundle discount on the website. Um, I just, I really love it. It's very moisturizing. It's wonderful for my sensitive skin. Um, it's, it's skincare as well as sun protection. And it's a lovely, for me, it works perfectly in terms of shade and makeup, kind of, you know, before makeup, this is what I'm using. Whether or not I wear a primer, whether or not I just go straight into sun, uh, foundation after sunscreen this is like 99% of the time what I'm wearing um and I the fact that the tint is sheer and it just cancels the white but it leaves a bit of a glow I've said this before my son who is in college he's probably my coloring as well he wears this so he uses this for one he's my son so he knows he needs to wear his sunscreen <laughs> But also he's kind of noticing that he's got a little bit of a rosacea thing with the acne that he's kind of, you know, he's, he's like, he's like, mom, oh my gosh, I never understood sensitive skin until now. And he's like, I've been fighting my acne all wrong. <laughs> I'm like, listen to your mama. What have I been telling you? Like that, I just, he'll come home from, you know, Walgreens with something and I'll be like, you are not using this on your face, honey. It's going to break you out. It's got fragrance or it's got this or that. And he'll be like, no, no, I watch this TikToker. And they said it really dried up their pimple. And I'm like, yeah, it does. But, um, but anyway, he really loves it because it, um, works with um, the skincare he's already using to combat breakout. And, um, but he loves how it feels on his face and he thinks he just, he's like, I think I look good when I wear it. So he does, you know, and he feels, it gives him kind of like an extra boost of confidence that he's got good skin and he's outside and he doesn't have to worry about getting flushed or a sunburn. And the reason I talk about the amount you're getting and the cost is because this actually, I think I paid $19.99 on Amazon for the Neutrogena and you get one ounce. And then this is two ounces and it's like $24. So just keep in mind that sometimes a drugstore product doesn't necessarily mean it's more cost effective and that's everything. So I will list these in my description box. Um, any of them that I have discount codes for or affiliate links, I will list those too. And I appreciate if you do any of your shopping through my description box. I really appreciate that because that is money for me to support my channel. And I hope you liked this video. I tried to be thorough and concise and not rambly. And if you think I've done that, let me know. <laughs> and, uh, Always say hi in the comments. I love that. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.